What I've got here are two subwoofer enclosures that I mocked up in SketchUp real quick just to show you what happens when you double the number of subwoofers in your system, or rather, what you should do when you double the number of subwoofers in your system. So on the left, I've got a two cubic foot box tuned to 28 hertz with a one by 12 slot port. In that setup, you end up with a port that is 17 and three quarters of an inch long. If you want to add a second subwoofer, you need to increase the airspace in the enclosure. So on the right, I've got an enclosure with two subwoofer cutouts, and that enclosure has doubled in size to four cubic feet. And when you increase the size of the enclosure, you have to decrease the length of the port in order to maintain the same tuning frequency. So both of these enclosures are tuned to 28 hertz, both of them are using a 1x12 slot port, but the bigger enclosure has a smaller port because you tune the port to the airspace in the enclosure. That's how we tune ports. Let me show you what I mean by comparing two four cubic foot enclosures. So the first enclosure right here on the left is our double subwoofer four cubic foot enclosure 1x12 slot port 7 and 29 60 fourths of an inch long. On the right, the exact same enclosure of both of them tuned to 28 hertz with the same size port. And you'll notice that the length of the port is exactly the same. Again, that's because we tune the port to the airspace in the enclosure. It seems really simple at first, but the thing to remember is that the enclosure on the left is going to have two cones, which means it's going to move double the amount of air relative to the enclosure on the right which means that that port has to move double the amount of air. And what ends up happening is your port airspeed velocity gets too high, you get too much turbulence in the port, and you start to get port noise. Sometimes we call this chuffing, and that is a bad thing. We don't want that. So we have to increase the cross-sectional area of our port in order to get rid of the chuffing. And in order to do that, we have to increase the length of the port in order to maintain the same tuning frequency. So now I have two enclosures. And these two enclosures have the exact same tuning frequency, 28 hertz. They've got the exact same two woofers, and they're both four cubic feet. The enclosure on the left has a 1x12 slot port. The enclosure on the right has a 2x12 slot port. So we've doubled the port area in an attempt to fix that chuffing problem that we're going to have if we use the 1x12 port. And when you increase the cross-sectional area of the port, you have to increase the length of the port in order to maintain the same tuning frequency. So that is what you do if you want to go from one subwoofer to two subwoofers in your ported enclosure. Now the next thing you're going to ask is, what happens if I use two ports? If I use two ports, would both port be 7 and 29 60 fourths instead of 16 and 9 16 Could I get away with using two shorter ports? And shorter ports are a good thing because they're easier to build into the enclosure. So let's take a look at what happens when we go to two ports instead of one. And this is what we have right here. The box on the left is our original two cubic foot single subwoofer enclosure with a one by 12 slot port tuned to 28 Hertz. And we have a 17 and three quarter inch port. The box on the right is our double subwoofer enclosure, two subwoofers, four cubic feet. So twice the airspace. And now I've made two one by 12 slot ports. So this box on the right has the exact same port cross-sectional area as this box right here. But what you're going to notice is that it requires not one port, but two, and those ports are both longer. Instead of 16 and 9 sixteenths of an inch, they're 17 and 3 quarters of an inch, the exact same length as the ports in the two cubic foot box. Well, what's going on here? Here's what's going on. By adding the second port, each port thinks that it's in a two cubic foot box. So the box on the left is literally half in every way of the box on the right. Half the woofers, half the airspace, half the number of ports. The box on the right, you could just about split down the middle and make two chambers. If you'd like to learn more about port tuning, check out this video right here. And if you've enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on my next adventure.